Hello everybody, it's me Case, and welcome back to Let's Play Edna and Harvey, Harvey's New Eyes. In the last one, we got choked to death. And in this one, we're gonna get choked to death. In this strange place that I have no idea where it is, we just put ourselves into a trance and that was it. So anyway, um, let I guess we can just click on everything now, can't we? <laughs> What's going on, brave warrioress? Too weak? <laughs> um, okay. Iron Kate. Oh. That's right. Run away. I'll get you next time. That one. <laughs> What's <the> two? <laughs> okay. Let's just talk to you then, Mr. Dragon. What are you doing well, here? You are very brave to come so close to me. Can't you see my teeth, my spikes, and my sharp claws? Didn't anyone ever tell you to stay away from sharp objects? That would be a tragic error. Okay, but I need to get to you. Lily had the feeling that these demons were getting bigger and more dangerous. They, they kind of are. I mean, we we first fought a um a snowman, and now we've been upgraded to fighting dragons. Ain't that fun? If only Skyrim started that way. Lily didn't but, want but. to appear greedy. One feather would be enough. Just like a Christmas dinner at the convent. Do we tickle him? <laughs> no, stop that. <laughs> Will he die of laughter? <laughs> what to? <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> we just keep on like tickling his tail till he till he stabs himself or something. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. What about this part of his tail? <laughs> okay. Interesting. <laughs> What's to? <laughs> I did a oh, good. How about we try to touch the iron gate again? The pain! You dang brat! Look what you did! Don't just stand there! Do something! The One chicken? feather would be just like... Not like that! <laughs> Put a little effort into it! I'm really in pain here. Tickle him harder. <laughs> um. Tickle the iron gate. Not my good old iron. Lily had the feeling that the. Okay, can 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 we just take away the thorn? <laughs> Thanks. That was close. I. Uh-oh. This demon had also made a mistake. It seemed that in certain situations, it really was necessary to handle sharp objects. What? Lily returned victoriously to reality. We're getting choked to death. Ain't that fun? But, um, what? I was gonna say, then he died of blood loss. But... That's adorable. I'm sorry. These Harveys are adorable. Look at that. Look at that! 
That is adorable. Oh, right. Reality isn't that great. Um, Mr. Phantom? Mr. Phantom? Um, is your name Danny by any That's chance? That's good. Keep nice. How about I give you a good old shankin? Lily fought for air. The phantom's grip was tight around her throat. Disobedient, it had said. <laughs> okay, Lily, you are one violent girl. I mean, the first chapter showed that. But I was thinking like stabbing him in the knee or something. Ending his adventure days or something like that. No. Straight for the eye. Holy crap. Damn, Lily. Damn. Harvey, you're mine now. What? And oh, we're back here where the thing is gone. Okay. One feather just. And we don't have keys. So can we just drink the coffee? <laughs> Okay, I, I didn't mean to do that, but I picked... Oh. Okay, um, pizza. Let's take the pizza. Go back to the maintenance room. And since we can um, now take the pizza, uh, I mean, you know, use sharp objects, can opener. <laughs> Dr. Marcel would surely be pleased. With the help of his credit card, Lily made some confetti. Well, ain't that fun. Oh, and it... Huh. Interesting. And we can go to the roof again? Oh! Oh! Hello, B-Man. We finally meet face to face. Hello, stranger. Before you say anything, please take a deep breath. And... Is that what freedom smells like? Or is it just regular air consisting of oxygen, carbon dioxide, nitrogen, soot from the asylum's new chimney, and a touch of diesel oil from the garage? <sighs> I don't want to seem melodramatic, but I'm somewhat skeptical about this so-called freedom. Ever since Dr. Marcel started neglecting his duties as head of this asylum, it's us, the patients, that carry the burden of creating our own boundaries. And before I'm able to measure up to this freedom, I do have to ask myself a few things. Maybe there are such things as good boundaries. And even in an ideal case, can I really decide where my own freedom starts and stops? It so happens that no one is preventing me from leaving the asylum. Does that mean I'm free? Can I just fly away, spread my wings, and leap from the asylum roof? The urge is there. Just like any bee, I long to buzz across fields of flowers collecting honey. But I'm still fighting it. Something about this freedom stinks. Okay. I mean, it's also, you know, there is such a thing as good boundaries. One of them is called gravity. Because, um... It's a good boundary, because knowing that gravity exists means that you won't plummet to your death when you decide to fly. So, uh, Mr. B-Man, do you want to fly? That's very nice of you, stranger, but that reminds me too much. It's already hot. Okay, apparently not. How about pizza? Do you like pizza? That's very nice, but it's already... Okay, he he doesn't like the nothing topping. Where is the thing to go back to the basement? Okay. No idea what's going on there, but yeah. Let's just explore the rest of the um of the convent. Not convent. Asylum. Same thing. Role playing ground. I I like I like playing a, some D and D. Send a can. You ugh, you know. Oh, right. Well, that's a waste of... I just realized this. That's a waste of... Wow. 
That's a waste of good board games. Okay, red curtain. Can we touch it? Apparently, we can just take a bit of the red curtain. Okay. Adrian Peter Druggle Jug, Petra. I think that's. Yeah, that's all we can interact with. Alright, Adrian, what have you got to say? My goodness, who do we have here then? Another player! Yippee. Don't pay any attention to him. Peter just sees black all the time. He was born that way. <laughs> that's true. Peter suffers from color blindness. Struggle jug. Well said, loyal friend. We all have our crosses to bear. Oh, yeah? Do you all wake up every morning knowing that one day you'll lie dead at the foot of a traffic light? Not exactly. But Druggle Jug, for instance, mixes up his blues and greens. You can't really compare the two. Your girlfriend Petra mixes up her yellows and greens. She's not my girlfriend. And we, King Adrian, mix up our reds and yellows. You should have been there when we played the board game. Sorry, Peter almost choked to death. I wanted to end my misery. Afterwards, we decided never to play a board game again. Only fantasy role-playing games instead. Okay. You decided that. And what did we just say? It's so exciting! We are a group of adventurers in the legendary world of Hope Montegore. Oh, please, why don't you join us? Druggle Jug? Not so fast. If the fair maiden wishes to join us in battle, she must first prove herself worthy. She must complete a task that puts her heroic valor to the test. Just and tell her to order be... a pizza oh. already so we can get on with it. Uh -huh. So be it. She shall order us pizza. Um... I, I'll be honest with you, I do know the feeling of col color blindness. Yeah. It jug. sucks. Yeah. You heard him. Bringest thou the pizza first, then thou may join us in play. It's really easy. All you need are desks, pencils, paper. And don't forget to bring a tendency for humiliating yourself. Troggle Chuck. If anything, if anything, Petra, the hardest part of a role playing adventure game is, um,. It's the friends part that's hard to get. That's the hardest part. And even harder are friends that are willing to play with you. Um, also, pillow? You're probably wondering why Draghi has a green pillow oh. on his head, right? Droggle Jug? My goodness, she's right. What on earth are you wearing? You're embarrassing me in front of my new subject. Droggle Jug. <laughs> yes, it is a little strange. Wait until you've heard the explanation. Today should have been Blue Pillow Day. <sighs> Druggle Chuck. Now we got ourselves a pillow? Okay, and Dr. Marcel. Uh, Druggle Jug. I believe our guest is searching for the tyrant known as Dr. Marcel. Deliver her thy news. Druggle jug, druggle jug, druggle jug, druggle jug. Don't forget to mention the helicopter. Druggle jug, and was never seen again. Bravo. Well told, loyal friend. Since then, these lands have returned to the wise rule of a magnanimous king. We can sure. do whatever we want. Does that mean I can finally sleep now? No! Well, I feel sorry for Peter. Is, is his name? Peter, yeah. To just let the guy some sleep. Some maternal sleep, maybe. Here's oh, your pizza. Ah, the pizza! Well then, Druggle Jug, indeed. You've forgotten bananas for my good friend Druggle Jug. No one shall want for food at my table. Get rid of it! Take it from our sight! Fine! Fine. I shall grab... I shall grab the all of the fruits. Except for broccoli. Broccoli is not a fruit. And berry doesn't... Blueberries don't really count. 
Druggle jug. Banana. Mmm. Druggle jug. Druggle jug. What does she have there? We don't see anything. Do we have to place the... Yellow bananas. Red tomatoes. Yellow red... Green brot. Um, what? I'm just gonna place everything here. Blue blueberries. Sure. Sure, I probably should have gotten more information. Oh, right there. the pit. <laughs> I didn't want any tomatoes! <laughs> oh, Petra, don't cry. It's oh, only great. tomatoes. Here we go again with the crying. Get rid of it! Take it from our sight! So no tomatoes, no blueberries, bananas, and what do you want, oh, Peter? No. Struggle job. Too bad. Come here. What do you want on your pizza, by the way? I want broccoli on the pizza, but no tomatoes, please. Struggle jug. Oh, no broccoli. Struggle jug. Bananas aren't bad either, but I could just die for broccoli. Oh yes, please do. For that, I'd even happily have bananas on a pizza. You only eat blueberries anyway. Yes, I like blueberries, but in this life, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Upon the order of the king. Blueberries will be banned from the pizza. Instead, knowest that tomatoes will grace the pizza. But... <laughs> Lily, it seemed impossible. Yellow, ban red, green, blue. How about just bananas for all? Yellow, yellow, red, green, blue, Oh, what? Did I mess this up? Yellow, but green, blue. Did I mess this up? I probably messed this up, didn't I? Yellow. Yellow, red, green, blue. Yellow, red, green, blue. Struggle Jug, do you want this pizza oh. anyway? Oh, get. Struggle just too bad. Come. Wait. Wait, do I have to get rid of the pizza? Cast it into the fire. No. Peter? Struggle to come. Lily didn't want. Fortunately, Adrian wanted tomatoes, but no blueberries. Petra liked broccoli, but no tomato. Struggle and peep this. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Can we can open her the pizza? To cut it into pieces. But don't you just see. Oh god. Okay. Um This is this is gonna be interesting. Lily thought, but she learned at least what Nope. Okay, we gotta find something to cut the pizza. The door. Oh. Okay. What about the bathroom? Are there. What? Let's just, um. Grab that. Grab that. Grab that. Oh god, the game froze for a bit. Put that there. The narrator was slowly losing the truth of the matter. In the convent, you're probably sl in the convent what? school rules. There was an extra passage stating that Lily had to maintain a minimum distance of what you're prop. Um. Oh, they're washing maniac. Bitty, 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 whoosh. Welcome to the laundrette. That was your cue to say this is supposed to be a laundrette, and I'll answer, of course. Oh, admittedly, it's a little rustic, 
but necessity is the mother of invention. Mother knows best. And now we're doing our laundry in the urinals. Lovely. Too wishy-washy for you. What other choice do we have? Exactly none. You don't have to, you know. Just make sure that the fabrics are separated properly. The toilet sanitizers really stay. We'll do the red laundry in the urinal with the red toilet sanitizer. Yellow laundry in the urinal with the yellow toilet okay. sanitizer. Blue laundry in the okay. yellow green laundry. If you want to try it, just show me some clothing with the right color. Then you can use the matching urinal as often as you want. Oh, okay. Let's just go. He totally doesn't look creepy. Also, what the hell am I supposed to do with this pizza? I'm gonna go back to the uh, maintenance room and call. Ordering pizza yeah. twice and only game. Oh. Then how do we? How Yellow, banana, red, blue. How do we pizza? You must not. How do we pizza? I have no idea how to pizza. So, anyway. I think I'll leave it off there. What the hell did you do, Petra? I don't want to know. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave it off there. So, I hope you guys enjoy this video. You know, leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you want to do that fancy stuff. Um, maybe next time we'll figure out how to cut a pizza because we need to do that. So, any anyway, anyway, I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.